Hello everyone and welcome back to class. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're gonna talk about the foundation and cornerstone of the church. Who knows what a cornerstone is? Well, if you said that it is the very corner of the very lowest part of a building, then you're right. The foundation of a building is the part that's the closest to the ground. Most of you probably have a concrete foundation and you could go outside with your parents and look at it. Back in Bible times, they made their foundations out of stones and the stone in the corner was the most important. So let's look at Ephesians 2, 19 and 20 together. It says, you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the cornerstone. So to help us learn about this today, I brought something to show you. Can you see what it is? It's Legos! That's right, who likes Legos? The Bible says that each one of us who's a Christian is a fellow citizen with the saints and members together in the household of God. That's why in Christ we can call each other brothers and sisters because we're all members of the same household. So that means all of us, every Christian alive today and every Christian who's ever lived is all part of one household of God, all together built on a foundation of the apostles, which represents the New Testament, and the prophets, that represents the Old Testament. And Jesus is our chief cornerstone. So he's that very important cornerstone right there. Now look at that firm foundation. That means that our foundation as the church is the Bible, with Jesus being the most important part. He's what the Bible is all about. All of the apostles and prophets through the whole Bible were all pointing to him. Have you ever wondered why it's so important for Christians to read and know their Bible? Well, this is why. Jesus and the Bible are our firm foundation and on it, we're built together into the church. Parents, if you'd like to dig into this topic a little more with your kids, take them to Ephesians 2 and read the verses that come before and after this section of scripture. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you learned a lot. I love you all and I miss you and I hope to see you here next time. Bye.